So alright guys, um, I'm shooting this in little segments so I can upload it a lot quicker. But uh, well, let me show you. I cleaned it out. See, nice and clean. Took this fan off. There's three little screws in there and then one little screw, screw holding a piece of plastic where you connects to the fan, connects to the, uh, the board itself. If you're going to pull this off, be careful when you... Uh, disconnect it from the the board itself you don't want to break that because then your your warranty shot uh, that's pretty clean uh, I, what I also did I said uh, I took both of them out to the shed and uh, I blew them out with a compressor got all the dust out of it and all as you can see nice and clean no dust you can actually if I hold it up this way kind of see through it this side nice and clean <coughs> so what I'm going to do which I should have had earlier over here got a little piece of plastic I might, uh, I'm going to try uh, not to uh, the NTH1 thermal paste. I'm gonna try that out. See how it comes out. I also uh, clean the shroud out, just inside. Get all the dust out, you know. And I had this little uh, brush, kind of little soft brush. I use that to clean the fan and also uh, everything around here, you know, because dust kind of build up all in here. So I just cleaned it out with a little you know brush and blew, blew it out with some air <coughs> so now what I'm going to do uh, I'm going to clean it once more I also used the glue off you know what I did I just put a dab on there a little finger moved it around and when I cleaned it I cleaned from the outside in so none of that glue will get out there and too hard to uh, clean up afterwards and I did the same here in here you have these little grooves there's some grooves right here what I use is uh, I use a little toothpaste and I just scraped all the thermal compound that was stuck inside cleaned it out scraped cleaned it out blew it out did all that so what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my alcohol and once more I'm just going to clean it out and also clean this out and then this time I'm just going to blow some little hair in it now to the thermal compound I'm do I'm just gonna put let me move this out of the side. I'm gonna do this first. I'm doing this so I could uh get inside those little grooves, some thermal compound inside those little grooves and I'm gonna spread it with a plastic bag. Now I'm going around the circle and from inside out. Just uh so it'd be easier to spread around. Make sure I get most of that there. I do this because uh, you got a lot of when they actually file these down or sand them down or however they uh, get them down to be flat, still they have little grooves inside of them. 
put this aside. And I'm going to do the same thing to this. Put a little bit in it on it. I like doing this because I like spreading it out. You know, I spread it out thin first. Now you guys probably say, you don't do that. Just put it on there, it'll spread out. This is just for me to make sure that I know it's uh, spread out all the way. Then more of it in the middle. A lot more. This is a little more than a pea size because uh, it has to spread out, it has to be thick on there. Now, let me turn this back around. <coughs> and I'm just going to set this on here make sure those screws line up to those get my little flashlight so I can see Be right back. 